Surprise on the pitch, Axel Dizazi scores an unexpected own goal. In a surprising moment, Axel de Sassi scored an own goal that changed the dynamics of the match. The incident occurred shortly after the second half started, when de Sassi's attempt to provide a long pass ended up in the goal of his teammate, Robert Sanchez. However, Sanchez's unexpected reaction by giving de Sassi a kiss on the cheek provided a unique moment on the pitch. Although the goal was not what de Sassi wanted, he seemed reluctant to remember the incident especially his goal against Leicester and the overall performance this season, which has not lived up to the club's expectations. This adds a dramatic layer to De Sassi's career on the gridiron. Jason Cundy, lured by Cole Palmer in match against Leicester City. In a memorable match against Leicester City, Cole Palmer managed to steal Jason Cundy's attention with his brilliant performance on the pitch for Chelsea. Palmer showed his class by scoring his 14th goal for Chelsea, with a finish so neat it was hard to forget. Not only that, his clever backheel pass also helped create the game-changing goal, which was scored by Carney Chukwemeka to make the score 3 2. Witnessing Palmer's brilliant assist for Chukwemeka's goal, Cundy could not hide his admiration, commenting, Cole Palmer is a genius. His pass was so incredible. It was a magical touch. Cundy also added, he's a really entertaining player to watch. His control, his composure on the pitch is so impressive. For someone who has that kind of peace and calm, he's a great player who has huge potential. With his influence continuing to be seen in every match, Cole Palmer is a figure who provides calm and confidence amidst the chaos of the match, making him one of the irreplaceable key players for Chelsea. Pochettino rebuked by supporters. Crisis on Stamford Bridge Field. In a match full of drama, Mauricio Pochettino got a clear message from the fans as his team struggled against Leicester. After the break, a shock own goal from Axel de Sassi changed the momentum of the match suddenly and Stifi Mavadidi made good use of it to equalise for the Foxes. Even Raheem Sterling's penalty in the first half failed to be converted, adding to the frustration of Chelsea fans who immediately turned their attention to Pochettino and his team's continued shaky performance on the pitch. Leicester even had to continue with 10 men after defender Callum Doyle saw a red card in the 73rd minute, but Sterling's attempted free kick failed to produce results, sparking boos from the crowd at Stamford Bridge. The tension became even more pronounced when Mykhailo Mudrik was replaced by Carney Chukwemeka, a decision which drew criticism from some Chelsea supporters who doubted Pochettino's strategy. Even when Sterling was replaced by Noni Madueke, the reception consisted of boos and less than warm applause, showing the tension that was brewing between the fans and coaching staff. Chelsea and Newcastle already know how much it costs to sign Ray and Cherky. The French club said again that they are ready to sell the 20-year-old young star at the end of the season, while two Premier League clubs are still looking at it. There was news last Sunday that the French team would sell Cherky plus his former teammates at the academy, such as Castello Luqueba and Bradley Barcola, to balance the notebook. Lyon already knew that many potential buyers were queuing up for Cherky, so they set a price of 25 million euros for him. The contract is still long, until the summer of 2025, so next season is a good opportunity to recoup your investment. It looks like the two of them won't be playing in the Champions League next season because it's difficult domestically, so maybe Cherky is in a bit of a dilemma. Chelsea and Newcastle have big money to offer expensive contracts, so Cherky will think hard about his next steps in the next few months. Spurs target Conor Gallagher from Chelsea. Golden opportunity in the midst of difficulty. The news about Tottenham Hotspur's interest in bringing in talented midfielder Conor Gallagher from Chelsea has caught the attention of many football fans. Gallagher, who is one of the main pillars in Chelsea's starting Evethan, is predicted to leave the club without a transfer fee next year. This provides a rare opportunity for Spurs to sign him at a price that is more affordable than market value. It is reported that Tottenham are planning to offer Gallagher a £30 million deal later this year. This is not just an ordinary transfer, but also a strategic move that can give Postikoglu's team a competitive edge. Commenting on a potential 
potential move for Gallagher, Mauricio Pochettino praised the player's talent and dedication before Chelsea faced Leicester City in the FA Cup tie. He must continue to show his quality and commit wholeheartedly. His consistency and fighting spirit are one of his best aspects, said Pochettino. Between hope and reality, the young defender's future at Stamford Bridge. Transfer rumours always heat up the football world, and this time the spotlight is on a potential move for a promising young player. According to a report from Give Me Sport, Crystal Palace are thought to have an interest in signing the defender. However, this story may have a surprising plot twist. While there has been speculation about Hall moving to Palace, the same outlet has also hinted that the left-back is likely to stay at Newcastle. The reason is, a deal worth £28 million has been agreed, making him more likely to remain at his old club rather than join a new club. A statement from Newcastle manager Eddie Howe at the end of February also added to the puzzle, with him confirming that Hall was very close to joining the Magpies permanently. Meanwhile, the situation at Chelsea is getting more interesting with the return of Ben Chilwell, who has recovered from injury. However, his long injury history is a source of concern. Other reports also indicate a possible departure for Mark Cucurella from Stamford Bridge, with the club interested in letting him go. With these possibilities, Chelsea fans' hopes could move on Hall to return and be part of Mauricio Pochettino's plans. However, the need for a new left-back may also be a priority, especially if Chilwell maintains his fitness and Cucurella impresses in the remainder of the season, so that could change things a little. Omari, the dilemma of whether to return to Ipswich Town next season or not. Omari Hutchinson has been a highlight of the season, recognised as town's most brilliant low knee. The question now is, will he return? In an interview, Hutchinson gave an interesting outlook on his future. It's going to be a difficult decision. I'm not sure yet. But of course, I hope so. I can't give a definite answer as to where I will play. It will all depend on the move best for my career. While he expressed his happiness to be here, he also opened up another possibility. If all parties agree, another loan could be my option. However, the final decision still has to wait for the right moment. I will discuss with my family and agency to confirm the decision best taken. With so many considerations on the table, Hutchinson's future at Ipswich Town is an interesting story that fans and football fans will have to wait for. The next steps for this young player will be a hot topic of conversation next summer.